Let's all rise. The Honourable um, Pensioner Tutumbo, the Acting Minister for Agriculture and Minister for Youth and Sports. The Assistant Minister for Agriculture, Honourable Viam Tule, the uh, Permanent Secretary for Agriculture, Mr. Kitara Singh, the Commissioner of Western, Colonel Manasa Tangri Mau, Head of Government Ministries, the uh, chiefs and people who don't even know what to run on Andy, to run on more, to run on run. The co-sponsors, the farmers and stakeholders, students and teachers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, to run on Tawa, na wale mo na wang kawai lang tanibuwa, na wale mo na masu. Ladies and gentlemen, in Istanbul, Vinaka, Namaskar, Assalamu alaikum, Nihao, Maya Mauri, and a good morning to you all. I'm deeply honored and equally happy to join you to open the 2017 Western Division Agriculture Show this morning. I had accepted an invitation to open the show in the Central Division earlier this year. But other pressing national obligations involving overseas travel prohibited me from attending the show. I'm excited to be amongst you this morning for this important occasion, not only because I fully support government's current efforts to revitalize the agricultural sector, but also because I consider myself a passionate backyard farmer who likes to grow his own vegetables and uh, tapioca um, in the backyard. From the outset, I wish to express my appreciation to the Minister of Agriculture for his efforts towards reviving and adding more life to Fiji's agricultural sector. Not only are we investing more into agricultural research and development, but Fiji is also increasing its assistance to farmers and would-be farmers in our country. The government is now providing an unprecedented range of incentives from education through the technical colleges to tertiary institutions to monetary incentives for those who wish to join the profession and make a living from agriculture. The government continues to provide technical and professional support and advice to existing farmers and it is now working on providing insurance cover for the sector. I will revisit the issue of insurance later on this morning in my speech. The annual agriculture show is but one program that is aimed at generating greater interest within the sector. This is an important event and I hope that it continues every year. Now the success of the show held earlier this year in the northern and central divisions has validated the opportunity to convene this show in Nandi for the entire western division. It's so nice to see so many farmers and even our school children this morning. The Western Division, as we are all aware, is home to the majority of hotel chains in Fiji. And there are strong linkages between the hotel industry and the agricultural sector. Now, the increase in tourist arrivals is opening up market opportunities for locally grown agricultural produce. Now, this is an opportunity that farmers in the West can take advantage of by using platforms like this agriculture show as a basis for farming ventures and future partnerships with tourist service providers. Ladies and gentlemen, the Western Division is also home to Fiji's salad bowl located in the Singatoka Valley where much of the produce of this country is sold and marketed in silver right through to Lotoka and other parts of Fiji. The Western Division is also the backbone of our agricultural domestic export producing commodities. And there are more opportunities for crop and livestock production within the division. I believe that this agriculture show will have a lot to offer in terms of informing the public on how to fully utilize these prospects. The event provides an opportunity for hotels to explore the abundance of fresh 
and processed agricultural products within the division. It is also an ideal time for local chefs to explore the contemporary Fijian cuisine and to choose more local, fresh, healthy, and nutritious produce. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the theme for this year's agriculture show, Climate Smart Agriculture for Fiji. Timely and apt, and I'm told that the Climate Smart Agriculture concept will help ensure that our nation is able to transform and reorient our agricultural system to effectively support development and food security in a rapidly changing climate. Climate Smart Agriculture has three main objectives. First one being sustainably increasing agricultural productivity and income capacity. Second one is the building resilience to climate change and reducing greenhouse gas emissions where possible. As we speak, the Prime Minister, the Honorable Varenga Marama, as you've heard, is now the President of COP23. The Attorney General, the Minister for Climate Change, the Honorable Zaya Said Kayum, and the Minister for Agriculture, our own Minister for Agriculture, who is the Climate Change Champion, the Honorable Linia Serratu, are all in Germany where they are leading the negotiations to fully implement the Paris Agreement. Let's think about them in our prayers. I urge the nation to rally in support of their efforts and especially our call to the world to unite and act responsibly to combat climate change. Now we've read about it in the papers, we've heard about our wish to draw the attention of the world polluters to the need for us to work together in addressing climate change, which is a real and present threat to humanity. Here at home, we are all familiar with the impact of natural disasters on our agricultural sector. Tropical cyclone Winston last year, for instance, caused damage in excess of about $200 million to the agricultural sector alone. That's a lot of money for a small economy. The sector is yet to fully recover in many parts of the country, as we speak. The recent dry conditions in the Western Division has been experiencing and the consequential impact on crop and livestock production is testimony to the fact that we must practice climate spot agriculture. In this regard, I would also like to request that we pray and ask Almighty God for more rain. Although government always steps in to rehabilitate the agricultural sector in the aftermath of a natural disaster, the losses that farmers accrue are usually substantial and mostly permanent. I am therefore pleased to note that government is working with the Food and Agriculture Organization in designing a crop insurance scheme for the agricultural sector. This will provide an opportunity for insured farmers to recover the value of their damaged crops about time and improve their farm rehabilitation programs. Agriculture will remain an important and significant player in our national development and in government's efforts to strengthen our economic growth. This will also help ensure that the national wealth is fairly distributed as well and employment opportunities made available to a wide cross-section of our communities. Whilst government is committed in its efforts to develop the agricultural sector, all farmers and would-be farmers should agree to adopt the climate smart agricultural approach. This will enhance the development of substantial farming systems that provide sources of food and income security for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank the co-sponsors of the agriculture shows for the generosity and support. And I once again thank the Ministry of Agriculture for ensuring that this event is held in partnership with the private sector in recognition of the private sector's role as the nation's engine of growth. Government will continue to support the agricultural sector by providing an enabling environment for its continued development. I note with interest the participation of the school children in the agricultural show. It is important that we introduce the concept of agriculture to children from an early age. I acknowledge and thank the schools that are able to visit the show this morning to the teachers and our young ones. Namaleo. Ladies and gentlemen, many of us know that farming is a health and rewarding vocation. 
It can be challenging at times, but it requires commitment, dedication, and allow for hard and honest effort in order for us to succeed. I have a confidence that the collective efforts to revive agriculture and to enable it to become a key sector in Fiji will augur well for our people and our nation in the future and today. I wish to conclude by thanking the Agricultural Committee for their tireless efforts in putting together this event, which I'm sure will be enjoyed by all over the next three days. And thank you for your hard work. I now have much pleasure in declaring the 2017 Western Agriculture Show open and wish everyone every success now and well into the future. May God continue to bless our beloved nation, Fiji. Thank you all. Our DJ to play some music. The Bulls. How are you? What's your name? To us to be completed. Then we will be asking you to come. The How are you? Are you still, are you still teaching or have you. you have <laughs>